What's all this noise about? My lord, Master Zhong Hui has rebelled! Hmm. Hmm. Pathetic. Let my sons handle the tantrum of this bawling infant. Huh? My lord? What is it, my dear? I fear you have removed yourself too far. Our boys are off fighting. We are the only ones here in Luoyang. So surely it falls to us to deal with these infidels. Am I correct? Yes. We have no choice. More imbeciles flailing mindlessly. I shall put them in their place. Can't you try to look the part a little more? Hmm? If people think you a fool, it will invite trouble. But you're the only one here. Besides, I really am a fool. <sighs> Fine, play the fool for now. But soon enough, you will need to rule the land. <sighs> You don't change, do you? You think far too highly of me. Sooner... or later, my lord, I will make you see the truth. No matter what it takes. emerged from the castle and has formed defensive ranks. Why would they come out? It is the height of idiocy. Sure, you must act as a decoy and attack from the south. Zhao, once the enemy reacts to Shur's attack, you must strike from the rear. against Wei, and strikes out on his own. And yet he is nothing but a mere fool! This battle is an insult to us all. End it! I can't believe that Gong Su Yuan! First he betrays Wei, then he turns around and names himself King of Yan! Such incredible greed! Has he no sense of shame? Tell me, son. What do you think of the one known as Gong Soon Yuan? He is nothing more than a mere fool. This battle is as good as won. However, I have a feeling that it will not be long before chaos rises again. Wu has united around Sun Chuan. However, Wei and Wu have lost many of their heroes and have been weakened for some time. The balance of power has shifted. It is only a matter of time before someone fans the flames of rebellion. Very perceptive, my son. Indeed, this world has taken a decisive change for the worse. Let's go. I wish to bring a quick end to this battle. <laughs> Please, have mercy. I surrender. The fact that you instigated a revolt is not such a great crime. Your greatest crime was having the temerity to think you had the talent to do so. You, who were unaware of your own mediocrity, die. Curse you!
What a miserable world this is, where we are forced to watch while idiots erupt in hysterics. Meanwhile, my own talents are destined to be wasted. The cunning of Suma Yi managed to eliminate Gong Soon Yuan. Not knowing the limits of his strength, he had turned his back on Wei and declared himself the King of Yan. Unable to control his anger towards this fool, Suma Yi was reminded of another man. The unparalleled tactician that had fallen at the Wujang Plains, Zhuge Liang. Once his star had faded, the land had changed dramatically. Within Wei, Cao Rei succeeded Cao Pi as emperor and began a rule of greed and opulence. While within Wu, they watched the struggle between Wei and Shu as they stabilized their own country and strengthened their defenses. Meanwhile, determined to rebuild its strength, Shu remained quiet as it recovered. It was then that Cao Rei of Wei died and was replaced by the young Cao Feng. Supporting Cao Feng were the Wei general Cao Shuang and none other than Suma Yi. However, Suma Yi willingly gave up his authority and decided to retire instead. For he felt that dividing power between two people would only lead to chaos within the government. In addition, with Zhuge Liang gone, there were none who could match his intellect. Realizing this fact during his battle against Gong Sun Yuan, he later disappeared from the public eye. And so, as the lone authority of Wei, Cao Shuang moved to attack Shu in the hope of returning Wei to its former glory. Suma Yi refused to participate in this battle and dispatched his son, Suma Zhao, in his stead. It was a sign of how much he missed having a worthy opponent. We can place ambush troops here, but that means these supplies <sighs> it's a little dark for map reading, isn't it? Who are you again? My name is Deng Ai, my lord. I have had the honor of speaking with your father on several occasions. <laughs> is that right? I have something I wish to discuss with you, my lord. What is it you want to say? Forgive me, but would you be willing to speak to our Lord on my behalf? We have been short on provisions since our last campaign. Our first order of business should be to find some nice, fertile land. The enemy is clearly reading our every move. We should prepare for a surprise attack. I suppose you already mentioned this to him and he ignored you. Well, he's not much of a listener. Even if it's coming from me, he's just going to say the same thing. Perhaps, but you're the only chance I've got. <sighs> How do I always get myself caught up in these things? Lord Suma Yi is attempting to ascertain the abilities of Lord Cao Shuang. That is why I sent your brother to this battle, to report on Lord Cao Shuang's behavior. Why do I always have to get stuck with these menial tasks? I was reading my history, and apparently Lu Bu was the first man ever to defeat Cao Cao. I'm just glad I never had to face him. My lord, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Ah, there you are, Suma Zhao. I have an important mission for you. I want you to launch a surprise attack on the enemy supply base and secure provisions for our men. If I do, then our defenses here will be thin. I think it best if we prepare for an attack by the enemy and strengthen our defenses. You're not the first one to mention that to me. You must have spoken with Dung Ai. There is no way the enemy will try to attack us. They have no idea what we are up to. Enough. I order you to go and attack the supply base. 
Understood. <sighs> I suppose I don't have much of a choice. The Night Raid. The tenacious waves of attack. I'd say they have quite the strategist leading them. That would be me. And I'm here to claim your head. like we got away clean in the end. But the general may prove a problem. I suppose I should go and report on what happened to my father. Most impressive, my lord. You reminded me of your father out there today. What? Come on. Don't say things like that. Right. Let's move on out of here. He defeats the enemy with assured decision-making, and retreats by the safest route. It seems the Suma family is the only one that can reunite Wei. <laughs> 